Hi guys, welcome to Tom and Stromish. My name is Simon. And today is eDrum versus eDrum day. We have the F Note 7 versus Roland's VAD 503. Here we go. Some of you might wonder why the backdrop looks so different. Well, from now on, I'll be shooting straight out of the video studios at the Toman headquarters. And with that being said, let's go on. Since I always love to respond to suggestions by our Drum Bash community, please leave a comment and tell me which e-drums I should compare in one of the next videos. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss your favorite e-drum video. Okay, so Roland's VAD 503 versus F Note 7. And here are the categories in which I compare the sets. First, general feel, then the sound quality, the volume within the room, and the general size of the kits when they are set up. First of all, it just feels really great when you have the feeling about sitting behind a real drum kit. That's very important and that counts for both kits. But what I really like about the Roland kit is that it has the TD50 snare pad, which is a digital pad and the digital ride symbol also. And like in today's pop music, bass drum and snare drum are very important. And the bass drum also feels very natural. So that's pretty good. And the hi-hat translation is great when you want to play faster things. The symbol feels also great. So in general, a very great feel. What I like about the F-Note 7 is that you have a bigger rack tom, but this is just my personal opinion. It feels more natural for me and a bigger ride symbol, which also feels a little bit more natural. The hi-hat translation is insane and the hi-hat sounds are very good. I really like the hi-hat sounds, but compared to the Roland kit, it's actually the same. It's a lot of fun to play. Snare drum and bass drum feel great, though the mix of the sounds inside the kits lag a little bit compared to the rolling kit so I have the feeling that I have to push the bass drum a little bit more but other than that it's just a great kit. Sound wise I think that the F Note 7 sounds a little bit more organic and has more natural sounding good kits compared to the Roland one but the Roland one itself has like the mix of the kits inside the kits, like the volume between the bass drum, snare drum, toms and cymbals, they glue better together than with the F Note 7. Here are two different sounds per kit.
Please don't forget that the volume within the room of e-drums is also very important when it comes to playing drums at home or in your flat house, wherever you play it. So let's find out which of the both kits is more likely to annoy your neighbors or your family members. The F-Note 7 measures a width of 160 centimeters, a depth of 90 centimeters, and a height of 120 centimeters. The VAD 503, on the other hand, has a width of 160 centimeters, a depth of 100 centimeters, and a height of 120 centimeters. Okay, conclusion. It's very hard, actually, because both kits sound very great and feel great to play. But if you are looking for only or maybe more acoustic sounding drum kits, then definitely go with the F Note 7 because the kits are great. But if you want to have a little more diverse kits in sound, then go with the VAD 503 because you have a great mix of good acoustic sounds and electronic drum sounds. Plus, with both kits, you can add more toms and cymbals. And the translation of the F Note 7 is great. The VAD 503 has the snare pad from the TD50 from uh, Roland's flagship model and it's just a great snare pad so it's really up to you what you want with that kit. Alright guys that's it for today I hope you enjoy this e-drum versus e-drum series please let's meet down in the comments and talk about which one you would pick which one you like better I'll see you again in one of the next videos take care Simon out bye bye